You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Keith. Johnson. The AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menounos and Bing.com, and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV's America's Best Dance Crew After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424-256-1729. That's 424-256-1729. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's After Buzz TV's America's Best Dance Crew After Show. Hey guys, what is happening? Woo! Hey! It was the Woo! season finale of America's Best yeah! Dance Crew. Season finale, the na- last show. Electrolytes versus Eight Flavor. Yeah. So, We're literally still on a high right now because we just came from the live broadcast. We literally just drove back. Yes. But guys, Bing is for doing it. We're doing the America's Best Dance Crew after show. Joining me as always, the lovely Sarah Mendoza. <laughs> Ashley Gray. What's up, guys? <laughs> and guys, I am Dave Klein, and in the studio, who is also with us at America's Best Dance Cruise finale, Marissa. Hey, guys. Oh, my gosh. That was so much fun. So much fun. Yes. So much fun. Crazy. So it was a blast. So it was live tonight. So mm-hmm. we literally finished the finale, did some interviews, which were great, and just drove right here to talk to you guys. Right. So how's it going? I want to hear from you guys. How's it going? We rushed over here for you guys to make it for this after show. It's like James Bond. Me and Marissa were just like cutting through traffic to get here for you. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I, I noted that. Poor Ashley was trying to I'm follow sorry, They Ashley. were booking it. Sorry, Ashley. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, so let us talk about the intro dance a mm-hmm. little bit. So I'm going to assume that the one that they show, because we kind of, they shot it three times, but I think the first two were practice ones, so I'm going to assume the third was the final one. Yeah. So what did you guys think of the dance? Ooh, well, I thought it was a little boring. A little um, boring? Yeah, I wasn't, because normally when I watch a dance, I judge it by this. Do I have chills? Do I not have chills? And tonight I didn't have I didn't have goosebumps. Yeah. I was like, uh, I mean, it was the finale. I wanted to see fireworks or people like flying over the audience and then back on stage and then yeah, just I I expected a little bit more. Yeah. Just Me a little too. bit. Yeah, I, I kind of agree with Ashley on this one. I thought there's going to be a little bit more oomph to it, like something different that we haven't seen. I felt like it was just another episode, mm-hmm. another opening act. Rather gonna, than the finale act. I'm going to call it the dance of freezes because they did a lot of freezes, which is like breaks dance moves and then freeze transitions, whereas like literally they hold a pose and then pop into a new pose, which mm-hmm. were difficult to do and it was cool. But I agree with you guys. It wasn't like all that. It didn't blow mm-hmm. me away. There were there was some cool stuff. There was um the electrolytes guy. I, for, I forgot who did it, but he did like a head spin and then popped I into a freeze. I believe it was Marcus. Do you think it was Marcus? Yeah. And so he popped Here's into Marcus. a freeze. Background on the first take, he messed it up. Oh, uh, I don't know. I was, <laughs> I was like, oh, what? I had to say it, but he he pulled it off in the actual one. Yeah. He so did. Good for Lucky him. for them, that was practice. Yes. Practice. So <gasps> even professionals mess up every now and then. His <laughs> best dance crew messes up every once in a while. Yeah, there we go. Even they do. <laughs> so. so from the intro dance, and this is kind of weird because usually I have like a couple pages of notes here, and since we were on the set, I didn't get to take notes. So this is all after memory, which is kind of a little more difficult. Uh-oh. David Guetta's memory, should I start singing it? Yeah, go ahead it. and start singing it, Dave. That's exactly what I just thought of. <laughs> <laughs> Flashback. I think we all did at the same time. We all like, mm-hmm. uh-huh. Oh, actually, before we move on, though, I do want to point out that we are going to do a season recap show at some point next week that you should tune into and watch out for because we will have Fanny Pack joining us and yes. possibly some other crews. Um, maybe Most Wanted, maybe Step Boys, maybe Shonique. I, I don't know, but there are some people who just may be back. We'll see, but for <laughs> sure, Fanny Pack, check it out. We'll be talking check about the whole season. Out. Yes, so yes, uh, yes. we'll keep you posted on AfterBuzz.com. Yes. Mm-hmm. So let's move on then to TV. the... TV.com. It was... <laughs> 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 AfterBuzz.com. <laughs> <TV. laughs> <laughs> 
So tonight was <laughs> Katy Perry night. Nice. Oh, I love Katy Perry. Love I was, her. I was hoping she was going to be there, but I thought it was pretty cool that she came and interviewed or uh, talked to the different crews beforehand. You yes. know, the fact that she talked so much to the different crews, I thought she was going to be there. I was kind of surprised Me when she too. wasn't at all because I was like, they got her on TV doing everything, and usually right. when they do that, the person's actually there. So. See, I had the exact opposite thought. I, th- I mean, she was there talking to the to them so much that I was like, oh, she's not going to be here. I was expecting her to show up, but mm. she, there, there was so much interaction with her and the crews. I don't think that, I didn't think that she was going to show up tonight. Yeah, I guess there, I thought there'd be like one performance that had her on it, but I that, guess See, not. that's what I would have expected for an opening act oh, yeah. for right. the season finale. Especially, mm-hmm. yeah, being that it was the season finale, right. you would have expected them to get a star, a celebrity who could be on like Flo right. Rida who was on the show. So mm-hmm. We should have been on there. Yeah, dude, I don't. I, ABDC. I wouldn't say I'm as big as Katy Perry, but, <laughs> but flashback though to an opening a last act. week memories. <laughs> <laughs> no, but my favorite opening act where it was for the finale, I think, is when Jabberwockies came back. Do you yeah. remember that one? Yeah, but I mean, so I, even something like that would have been better than I think tonight. I mean, I would say j- most everything that Jabberwockies did just blew me away, though. <laughs> yeah, they were pretty awesome. They still are. They were a great starting crew. But we found out, so the very first crew that we got to watch perform was Electrolytes. Yes. And they were joined this week. <laughs> Sorry. By Periodics. Poriotics. 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 I was waiting to see if you were going to get it right. I was just looking at you like, hmm. I, you know, that's why I started giggling. giggling <laughs> I figured that was why. <laughs> we were joined by, by. Let me get this out. Wait. Poriotics. <laughs> So okay, what do you think whatever. about those two crews? Um, so together? you know, I I didn't think it was great. Me either. But here's so I thought that they had good parts. I thought certain parts of it were good. Um, I thought there were some cool transitions. But usually when Electrolytes comes out, they come out with a bang, and that's kind of what exactly. I think Electrolytes is: is constant mm-hmm. transitions into constant things. And I felt like Poriotics really slowed them down, which isn't really Electrolyte style, and it's Poriotic style, which is fine. But it just doesn't, to me, it didn't say electrolytes, and it almost just slowed down their whole exactly. performance. Exactly. That's exactly what I have in my notes. The person, I'm used to seeing so much personality out of electrolytes. I feel like that group pulled down electrolytes in this performance tonight. And I'm not going to say it was bad because it wasn't bad. Mm-hmm. And there were definitely good points. There were good, good parts where they were all doing Poriotics crew stuff, which was kind of like a lot of. Um, hits and tutting, yeah. I would say. Mm-hmm. And that was cool, and they had elements that were good, but, but it just didn't blow me away. I thought it was a little slow. But right. I, but I'm going to say, I think they had some, um, some what is it called, gloving in there at, at some yeah, point. Yeah, they, they, they was like a... some gloving? Yeah, well, they tried to... It was. I thought that they were, like, if there was, like, a some type of glow-in-the-dark ball in the air, they were playing with it, kind of. Yeah. And I didn't... Some, <laughs> it was kind of sloppy, because it was like the ball was over here, and their hands were here. Hmm. Of course, you guys can't see me, but I look pretty awkward. But I think Unless that... Unless you're watching YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, is that what they were trying to do, or well, am I off? See, for that part... I don't know if you're, we're talking about the same thing, but it almost looked like it was a caterpillar formation that they were doing that was... Well, no, I noticed that. I thought that was cool. They that had, was really cool. So here's, That was my fave of yeah, that performance. Yeah, and that was part of the, por- I'd say, poriotics. What was cool is they had some cool illusion elements. And usually when you do wave stuff like that, it looks really cheesy 80s, which we talked about before. Yeah. But they actually made it look pretty cool. I was like, all right, that's pretty yeah, tight because awesome. I haven't seen it like that before. And it was right. it was, it was fa- a centipede. But it was also that it was fast. And I think that's why. Because a lot of time when you see people do waves, it's uh, between it a whole crew. Long. Yeah, it takes too long. But mm-hmm. they did it fast. It was quick. And that was what was good about it. So that was one of the elements I liked. Yeah. Um, you, haven't, you haven't said much, Sarah. What do you think? Well, that's what I was going to say. Is, um, that was my favorite part of the performance. Other than that, yes, it was slower than huge for electrolytes. They are a very uh, electrifying, dynamic <laughs> performer performance crew, and tonight it just seemed like there was a lot of in between lackluster things. Yeah, it was just like in between space. Right. So it's like cool thing, then in between lackluster something, then cool thing, then a lot a lot more calm, and then it's cool thing again. And something I think that they did. It, this might have been eight flavors if I'm messing this up, but I don't think I am. I think this was electrolytes. Um, they had it and. B-Boys do this a lot, and they shouldn't. And this is something that I noticed, was that they would have it so the crew would kind of get in the center and do something really boring. And they have one person kind of shine in front, and then that person in the front would run back to the rest of the crew, and then another person would come out and do their thing. 
But if you're going to do that, you really need the crew in the center to be doing something interesting that adds to it, especially for, I feel like, these dances. And usually Electrolytes does that, which is what I've liked so much about them is they do those cool elements, but they have the incorporated so well with the crew. This time I felt like it was just like, you go do your thing. I'll go do my thing. So that was another element. And that has a lot to do with the transitions, as we were talking about. Mm -hmm. Usually their transitions are so smooth, so non, so tra um, transparent. That I just, I guess I didn't see that. It was right. still good. It just wasn't as good as I feel like I, I've seen them all season. So yeah. do you think that it's because that the other crew joined them this week? Or do you think that it was just electrolytes who just didn't deliver tonight? Well, I mean, I was kind of thinking about that on stage. I was thinking like, how weird is that? That you have a crew who has their style and your own their personality. You join up with another crew who has their own style and personality. Mm -hmm. And you're trying to create a dance together where it's just like, I'm sure there's a lot of arguing, arguing and disconsention <laughs> yeah. in terms of us right. arguing. Um, <laughs> in terms of just like, um, well, I want to throw in this move. No, let's do it this way. Let's do it this way. This is how our crew does it. So I'm, I feel like there had to be some of that. Right. Well, it's definitely difficult when there's a collaboration of such strong artistic enti entities in it of themselves. Yeah. You mm -hmm. know. So they're such a like electrolytes. There's nobody else like them. And then periodics, there's nobody else like them, and they're such they're so strong in their own styles. Right, so because having they are to mesh that would be hard. Because they are very different styles. Right. So here's the question: Who decided to put them together tonight? Whoever. That's, whoever <laughs> did. Uh, uh -uh. Well, I'm sure it's like these are the crews we can get for tonight. Yeah. It was probably totally. a lot of that. This is who we, we can get to be on the show for tonight. So. Yeah. <laughs> but I think it was strate strategic in that they did. Eight flavors and we are heroes. we are heroes because that yes. was all yep. you know female groups mm -hmm. that made sense. Which why don't we move on to that part? We are heroes yes. with eight flavors. Well, oh, they yeah. danced to TGIF, which I think was kind of well more than kind of inappro an inappropriate song for their age range. I mean, it's talking about drinking and doing God knows what, That's what exactly God knows what who. I said, you know, Tell them, Marissa, the, take the it away. The song's about them being hungover and not remembering what they are. <laughs> and that's their, the second song that they had to have a routine to, and yet they're still, I think they're still too young to actually understand what's happening. And to, But to dance to it, it was a nice beat. I understand that. Are you saying that wasn't your 12-year-old experience, Marissa? <laughs> no, that was her, her Is that seven, what you're telling me right now? It was right her seven-year-old experience. <laughs> okay, yeah. she was already past that stage. She was past like, it. Been there, That was so right? seven. <laughs> so right. seven years old. I have to say, though, I really liked their performance. It was... It was a little bit personal to me because they did the little Tahitian dance oh. um, rendition. Oh, yeah. She turned around. She did her little like booty shake. I can show you guys later. <laughs> <laughs> but get him like, in, Doza. I got chills, though, because it reminds me the, of the feeling I get when I dance Tahitian, oh. you know? Mm -hmm. And they incorporated mm -hmm. that because, um, if you guys remember, the girls are actually from Hawaii, or half yeah. of them are. Mm -hmm. So they put their little culture flavor in it, too. Okay, guys, so we have Nicolette joining us on the line, on the phone. Nicolette, Nicolette, what's happening? Nicolette. What's up, Nicolette? We miss you. So Nicolette was actually a model for the show tonight. Yeah. Yes, you know, sitting in the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> so intense. I mean... I've been to, like, so many of the other shows, you know, for the Valley. Mm -hmm. It was crazy how this show was seriously the energy. I've not ever felt that energy at any of the other shows before. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it, was, oh. it was so emotional, you know, when Ace Flavors, they had the story again, you know, mm -hmm. with her mom passing away. It was just a really intense, like, and you could feel just everybody's energy just totally clinging to that, you know? Mm -hmm. Right. And I mean, even me, I got so emotional. So it was really interesting to be in the crowd and like really just getting involved with the whole situation. I mean, it was crazy. Dave, your, um, your people's one, Electrolyte. Yeah. <laughs> your people. Woo! He I, is a self-proclaimed electrolyte you fanatic. You right. I was I, really hoping Nate Flavors was really going to take it. Uh, uh, yeah. I haven't gotten to No, I'm yet, just but. a self-proclaimed prophet. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'll yes. have to say to everybody who commented on our live chat and YouTube saying I was crazy. We were now? right. What now? In your face. <laughs> oh, gosh. Calm In down, Dave. Face. Calm down, Dave. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> So, That's all so I gotta you, say. Nicolette, you were saying you were hoping that Eight Flavors was gonna win. We're actually talking you know, about. Huh? We're actually talking about their dance right now. So. Oh really? Yeah. What did you think of their performance? Okay. Well, I really, really liked it. I mean, 
definitely electrolytes, I feel like, brought their A game with the period. How do you say it? Poriotics. Poriotics. <laughs> You're not alone, Dave. <laughs> okay. They really killed it. But A Flavors, they were so cute. You could just really tell they were just having fun on stage. Mm-hmm. You know, right. especially with We Are Heroes. Like, I love We Are Heroes. They were one of like my favorite crews that did actually win. And so yeah. I was glad to see them all kind of reunite together. I really, um, I really loved, like, the outfits that they were wearing that they ended up choosing. And I thought it was so cute, like, when Katy Perry was telling them, you know, it's about how you want to look and kind of bring out your own style and what you guys wear and stuff like that. Oh, and we miss so I your... feel like overall the performance was really great. I really loved it. Awesome. It was so eight flavors. You yeah. Know? <laughs> we miss your uh, fashion, your fashion input. input. <laughs> yeah. We want Aww, you sitting here. You were sitting guys. in the audience today. I know. I feel like but I'm we want you here. neglecting you guys, but I'm not. I promise. <laughs> I'm really not. I really love, enjoy, like, working with you guys and stuff like that. Awesome. Aww. Well, so I was like, I need to at least call in. Well, yes. We, well, when we do the recap show, you better be there. Yes, next oh, no, week. no, I'm there. I'm so there, I promise. <laughs> but it was just a really good, I mean, it was amazing tonight. So, it was absolutely amazing. Actually, not only was Nicolette in the audience, our own Maria, Maria Menounos, Menounos yeah. was, was in the audience. audience. I was like, oh, Maria. Oh, you <laughs> yeah, saw her? She... Or did you just see her yeah. in the, like, TV thing? Um, we were like, I was like um, on the side stage, like in the crowd of this, um, I don't know, in the back, but she was over and like, we're all like, peri- or the other crew. Poriatics. <laughs> Marcus Houston was there too. Oh, he cool. was in the crowd. Yeah. So there was like, there was like, quite a few people in the crowd and Maria looked so pretty, of course. <laughs> like As always. always. Yeah. Always flawless. <laughs> Love her. <laughs> We had a lot of After Buzz peeps there tonight. Yeah, it was After Buzz Central. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. Uh, Well, thanks, guys, for letting me call in. Thank you for calling. Thank you. We miss you. Yes. I know. I miss you guys, too. I will see you guys next week. Yes. All right, girl. See you later. TTYL. Bye. Bye. Now, she's actually potentially going to the After Buzz, or not the After Buzz, the ABDC after party, mm-hmm. which is why she's not joining us. So hey, we should be she's there. She's partying it up. She's partying <laughs> it up. Um, so, so I'm gonna go on and talk about what I think of A Flavors. Go ahead, Dave. Um, I thought the beginning was great. I kind of thought it slowed down a little bit, though. I like the beginning. I was really excited, and everything was really getting me. I was like, "Wow, this is really cool." And I just kind of thought, like, about halfway through, it just sort of slowed down. So I didn't think it was their best performance either, but it was still good as well. So I guess. It was kind of like, all right, yeah. it, it took me away. It took me faster than Electrolytes at the beginning. I definitely right. thought, like, this is better at the beginning. And it kind of, like, teetered off for me, so. Right. You know what? It does feel like for both of the crews, they were so amazing these last few episodes. It feels like they took a little tiny step back. I feel like that, too. For tonight, which is a little, you know, upsetting for the finale where it's supposed to be, you know, an even higher elevation of performance. Yeah. I just think that I will have liked to see them not with another crew. I think that it would be totally different and the vibe would have been mm-hmm. a lot better if we would have saw them just alone as electrolytes and eight flavors, not right. electrolytes and the name that we cannot pronounce and uh, <laughs> eight flavors and we are heroes. I mean, it's like I've, I've got nothing against Poriotics or we are heroes. Mm-hmm. I think they're great crews, but and I get that they brought them back for the hype factor of like, oh my God, they're back, they're back. That's so yeah. exciting. But I agree. I would have liked to have just seen a finale dance right. from the crews themselves mm-hmm. as their styles. Cause or maybe them together. Hard. Yeah. You know, a finale dance with them together. and you Or know. finale battle because battles are exciting. Oh, yeah. yeah I, I was Why? just going to say that. I was like, I wanted a battle between those. Right. Mm-hmm. Why wouldn't they have a battle for the final quote-unquote showdown? Exactly. Yeah, you think so. Um, but I'm going to say that I, when they were showing the whole... Um, the cancer thing that they were doing the relay for life the relay, relay for life, for life. Mm-hmm. i'm sure that i was kind of thinking about like wow they had to do another performance there so they probably had to do choreography for that too so that's just a whole nother show that they had to do so they probably had a lot going on which mm-hmm. i guess is why you know yeah. you can kind of cut them some slack for that stuff because they've got so much going on but i i do agree that i think that they kind of took a step down both of the crews mm-hmm. well out week. of out of electrolytes performance and eight flavors performance tonight i think that eight flavors they did do a, a little better than electrolytes, but I totally agree with the decision. You know, electrolytes, I love. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. What do you think? Well, I, I'm glad that electrolytes won. Even though I do love eight flavors, we've said this all along. 
I'm glad because Electrolytes was consistent throughout the whole season, and the judges have said they're the guys who are up late night practicing in the mm-hmm. rooms. No matter where they are on set, they're still practicing, still choreographing, and it's just so obvious that they really wanted this. They really wanted the title. Yeah. So given that, I think they really deserved it for the yeah. work that they put in. Eight Flavas, they are talented young women. And they're going to go far. And we were talking about it earlier. This is just the beginning for them. For them, yeah. yeah, And now they've got this boost to kickstart them. Yeah. I would almost say that for me tonight, the two Cruz battles were kind of a a draw. Um, Does this mean draw? I was going to say, I thought you meant like canceled out. Get them off stage. I was like, like, uh uh-oh. That's like a draw tie. I I just, I guess I have to go back and watch them again, honestly, to really get a full opinion on them, especially because it's a little harder in the green room to really get Mm -hmm. a full view of everything. Right. But... I, I, neither of them really blew me away, and neither of them I thought were terrible. So mm-hmm. I was just like, all right, I don't know who I thought took it necessarily as far as right. those performances go. Um, I, f- I felt much, for me, um, aside from being in the excitement of being at a live broadcast, I felt much more excitement watching the battle last week. Because yeah. you saw that competition amongst those two cru- crews that were, you know, trying to be in the top spot. Trying to be America's Yeah, right I thought so too. Because they were actually competing against each other for that title last week. Today, it was just kind of like they were doing performances because the decision was already made anyways. Yeah. By, by Which we, I didn't, what's the point of having a, a finale show if the votes are, are already in? I didn't really get that. Yeah, I think it would have been exciting. As much as I, I think it's great that America votes, and I mm-hmm. think that's awesome, I think it would have been exciting if it was a finale battle episode where the right. judges had to choose. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Because as much as I think, okay, it's great that we get a say throughout the whole season, I think, like, let the experts decide for the final show, because then we get a final showdown battle episode, which would be right. really exciting yeah. and really cool. But I guess that's kind of what I think with that. But before we move on, I should mention that we would appreciate your guys' support in any way possible because we do provide this content completely for free, whether that be going on YouTube or iTunes and commenting or rating us, whatever it is, even if it's bad. We will oh. comment it. I love seeing it. I will eat up that hate. Uh, and, then feed it back, Dave. and feed it back on you when I'm right. Um, electrolytes won, by the way. That electrolytes won. <laughs> and, oh, snap. <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> Thank you, Marissa. Um, and the other thing that you guys can do is go to Amazon through our website. Go to AfterBuzzTV.com. There's an Amazon link on the top right. If you click on it, you can buy whatever you're going to buy in the, same, in the first place. For the exact same price you're going to buy that, no added charge. It just helps support us. We would appreciate that. Buy all your dance equipment, your head spin beanies from there. Which I hope they have at Amazon. Awesome. <laughs> I don't know. Usually, through the B-Boy specialist shops, but go to Amazon and try it out. Well, if you like Katy Perry, you can always go and get some stuff yeah. on Amazon for Katy Perry. And speaking of her, she will be having her movie out Fourth of July weekend, um, "Parts of Me" by Katy Perry, and it looked really good tonight. They showed a little bit of clips, and I, I mean. She's- She's, she's beautiful. No, we love and her. And she's such a good singer. She actually studied opera growing up. I was reading a little bit about her. And I had the pleasure of actually sitting next to her oh, at did you? the People's Choice Awards last year. Awesome. And I was just thinking, oh, my God, this woman doesn't look real. <laughs> she, she looks like a walking doll. And really? the one thing yeah. that I really love about the clips that we saw tonight from Katy Perry's movie is that you see her with no makeup on as well. And you know how, like, some girls, they don't like to step foot outside without any makeup. Right. She's showing America Snooky. what she looks like when the, Snooky. Ah! <laughs> Snooky. That was a good one, Dave. But it's true. <laughs> it is. But yeah, so I mean, you just saw that she's a beautiful person inside and out, with or without makeup. So we yeah. love. We love you, Katie. Yeah. Come visit us in Afterbus Studio. <laughs> Come on. The, what did you guys think of the, speaking of Katy Perry, of her music for the show? I loved it. Uh, Fireworks is my favorite. Yeah, those are good songs. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't have thought that would be the finale artist. Yeah. Um, because I don't think of it as so much a dancey type or like i think it would be more hip-hop for this kind of show yeah you know but it worked out but ma- you know what maybe that's why the dances were a little bit yeah slower. you know i was kind of wondering that too honestly yeah. it could have also been the music yeah and um although i'm sure you know district 78 our boys over there they did, <laughs> they did a great job at, they um, did they did a great job remixing the song so it worked for dancing for the hip-hop and added some hip-hop beats to it 
But I, I kind of agree. It's not like I've got nothing wrong with Katy Perry. I think she writes great pop music. Yeah. But it's just not, to me, hip-hop dance music that you're going to dance, that specific style of dance to. It's good music. It's good dancing music, too, yeah. just not specifically for hip-hop. Well, I'll right. have to agree with JC on this. I know that one JC, who's one of the judges on ABDC, he said that you can kill a dance routine with any music that's thrown at you. So I'll just agree. They, they could have killed it out there tonight, and they just didn't bring it like we wanted them to, but... I mean, I don't, I don't disagree with that. You should be able to dance to any music. You should be they able to can kill hit, it no matter they, what. You can hit hard hip hop routines to what music was played tonight. You should see me at home in my apartment kicking it with my cat. Why at home? <laughs> Why does it have to you be at home? You should be on ABDC then, girl. I know. Yeah. Try it out. Yeah. I mean, no, just kidding. But the thing is, like, you really you have to dance to the music to kill it. You have to make it musicality wise. Mm-hmm. And it's just that for hip hop, that's why that style of dance was formed to that style of music is because that style of dance looks good to that style of music. So for Katy Perry music, you, you probably do a different style of dance to make it look right and make it look accurate and make it musicality wise the best type of dancing. Mm. So that's kind of just how I feel with that. Yeah. Not that you can't do hip hop dance to that, but it probably won't look as good as a different style of dance to that. It'd be like doing hip hop dance to ballroom music. You can do it. It's probably just not going to work as well. Well, ballroom music is not really the tempo that you would want to dance hip hop to. But I mean, I just think that anything you can you can do it if you. I mean, if I love fireworks, I can come up with a hip hop routine off of fireworks. Um, don't you know? Bet on me. I'm to betting come on you. Right now. <laughs> Play some bets. But I bet my niece could. My niece Shaniqua. Yeah. All right. <laughs> That's her name for real. <laughs> So let us move on then to JC's favorite dance of the night. <laughs> I, I am me. me. Oh, they were good. It was amazing. Chachi actually is always backstage with us. Yeah. And yeah. she's a, such a great dancer. I was so impressed with what I saw I today on stage. I knew she was a dancer, but I hadn't put it together. Together, that me whole either. Time that she was on the crew. Yeah. You know, it's, it's fun to watch it too after we've met her and be like, we're having a face you really recognize, which mm, is the yeah. same with all the crews now that we know them. From there are, after stage. I feel like there are friends. It's just like watching like people we know. It adds yeah. a different element to it. But this was my favorite performance Me of the too. night. <laughs> Me too. Fun. I love and they're not them. even the competing crews no. of the night. I know it's just funny being like, yeah, they kind of were the best of the night, <laughs> and they weren't even one of the crews. They were doing this cool like. Okay, I wrote down in my notes arm tutting. <laughs> you know, like you do finger tutting, but it looked like they were doing it with their arms. It would just be, I totally it, made up a move, guys. Yes, <laughs> arm tutting. I think Let's that's do it, Mendoza. No, I mean it, it's it is right, but it's just that's just called tutting, though. Okay, okay, tutting. there we go, there we go. So, so straight up tutting. Head tutting. Just, <laughs> you're so technical. So they were doing head tutting. Uh-huh. So yeah, they were just doing some good straight up tutting. <laughs> yes. But it was also they're just like as JC pointed out, just constant illusions. Oh yeah, and they were good illusions too. It was ones that they worked. It was all good illusions yeah. constantly. Yeah. I was like trying to take notes in my phone as I was watching, and then JC said, "If you turned your head for one minute, you, you have missed miss so much." And I was like, "No, I'm gonna miss it." <laughs> and that's what I was thinking in my head. Like I didn't want to stop looking because it was just so amazing. I'm like, "Wow, they're with, good." With that one illusion we were doing, um, where everyone was in the center. Cutting. Yeah. <laughs> it reminded me of, you know, when you look through a telescope and all the shapes are like oh. moving oh, this way? Oh, yes. That's what it reminded yeah. me of. That's what cool. is that I called? Think of that. Kaleidoscope. Oh! oh! That's what I just said. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh I'm sorry. <laughs> me and Dave, we should have been listening, Dave. Girl, you're not listening to me. <laughs> Wait, I thought you said it's that type of telescope. Yeah, Kaleido- me too. Kaleido- kaleidoscope. Oh, kaleidoscope. Oh. I, I apologize. It's, just, <laughs> it's your Hawaiian accent, <laughs> probably. Let's <laughs> attempt the Hawaiian. <laughs> Hawaiian. I'm not, I don't have it, okay? I don't, have it. I don't claim to have it, okay? <laughs> So I I asked JC during the I interviewed JC about it. I was like, um, you kind of totally freaked out afterwards. And he's like, yeah, I definitely geeked out afterwards. And <laughs> afterwards, I thought about it. I was like, uh, that was kind of too much. Oh no, it wasn't. He, you know what? And to bring, we were backstage interviewing the the different 
celebrity. Oh, we weren't back. backstage. We were we're on, on, the stage. Stage. on the stage. And yeah. they are just amazing. Like, JC was so personable and little mama and Dietrich. Like, they were just, it was such a great time. It was just the energy in there. Everyone was just partying. And even eight flavors, even though they didn't win tonight, their right. flavors were, I mean, positive. their flavors were so, their spirits were so high. Right. And you wouldn't, you would have thought that they won tonight. Yeah. I was like, wow. Um, they are positive young ladies. Also, I had a little run-in with Randy Jackson. Randy Jackson? Oh, my gosh. I did oh, the, yeah. the On creepiest. my way to the bathroom. <laughs> Marissa Wait. was like, hey, there's Randy. I was like, hello. And he was like, hi. I was like, oh, my God. Why am I such a creeper? Yeah, I'm a creeper. <laughs> no, you're just friendly. You're just friendly. I'm just friendly, We're yeah. Friendly. Ashley is, mingles with everybody. I try. Every single person ever. <laughs> I try. I wish I had those skills. Hashtag skills. <laughs> Hashtag skills. All right, but um, let's talk about the winning performance, the winning crew, and our backstage times after we take a commercial break. But before we go to commercial break, guys, <laughs> I'm a big gamer. Are you guys good big gamers? Probably not. Yeah, no, you know. Um, yeah, I got mad game. Oh, mad game. <laughs> yeah, we have. I have game, but not that kind of game. <laughs> so, guys, you should go to gamefly.com/slash/afterbuzztv, and you'll get a free 15-day trial to Gamefly, which is basically Ooh. like the Netflix of video games, which is pretty awesome. So, go ahead. You can try out Dragon's Dogma, which got. Good and bad reviews. Try it out for not $60. <laughs> Try out the Game of Thrones game. Try out Diablo 3 if you haven't already. Come on. Get on it. Go to Gamefly.com slash AfterBuzzTV and check it out. And we will cut to a commercial. Awesome. Hey, guys. So what do you get when three real single ladies are super fans of VH1 single ladies? Well, you get the After Show on AfterBuzzTV. I'm Lauren Turner. I'm Spicy Mighty. Bring me back. Bye. And I'm Fallon Mercedes. And we're single ladies, so make sure you watch us on After Buzz TV. We're all the single, single ladies, ladies. All the single ladies. All the single ladies. Hey guys, this is the After Buzz TV crew for The Real Housewives of New Jersey. Woo! Don't forget to tune in every Monday night at 8 p.m. to see Adrian Vero, Deanna Vaughn, Susan Hahn, Giselle Ugardi. Buzz you later! After Buzz TV, what do you want to buzz about? I kind of want to buzz about electrolytes. 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 So, guys, we found out electrolytes <laughs> was the winner of this season. What did you guys yeah. think? You American know, I was looking for Chris, Chris the whole season. Ever since he was hurt, I was like, <laughs> you going to pull through, boo. You go pull through. You know what? He did. I, I've been calling myself the OG of <laughs> rooting for electrolytes, but I think Ashley probably does take it for ever See? since be before they danced. But then, yes. Just it's from the only Chris. because of Chris, though. But I, She's I, like, I was supporting no. the whole team, though. Because if you got to support one, you got to support them all. No, it was also because it was a lot of cute guys. She was exactly. like, this crew is a lot of cute boys. Um, I support electrolytes. <laughs> you want to know what moment that I really wanted to see so much? And we were actually getting ready to go on stage. I wanted wanted to see the his son's reaction when he won. Oh yeah. oh yeah. His little if for those of you who are listening, he has a little baby boy who I believe is how old? Like, like two. two. It's, yeah. And he's always backstage every single week watching his daddy perform live. And I really wanted to see his reaction once he found out his daddy won. You know what I overheard? Um, you know, because they would they do the intro shot and then it goes black backstage for a while. Yeah. And that's, so we when we're watching it in between during commercials, it goes black. So after the intro dance and then it went black, he goes, where's daddy? daddy. Yeah, Where it was daddy so go? cute. <laughs> so. I didn't even see him. I didn't get to yeah, see he him. Yeah, he's always there flipping around. He yeah. was kicking me in my face today, girl. He is going to I be an like, amazing right. dancer. He Let's is. just throw that out. He is. He's always dancing backstage. He can do stuff that I probably can't do. <laughs> yeah. and he's two years old. He's always dancing and eating cookies. <laughs> That's how you get energy to That's do it. All exactly. Kid needs. That's all a kid needs. Cookies and dancing. So cute. <laughs> Um, right. So I th I thought, as I was saying, I, I I've been wanting to win them to win for the longest time. So I'm Even really though glad. Our listeners doubted us. Even with all the doubters, <laughs> all the haters hating on me for my opinion. <laughs> What's up, guys? How about it? <laughs> What's up? Dang those doubters. <laughs> <laughs> so, Hashtag. But yeah, I was excited to find out they won. Name? <laughs> yeah, are you guys listening? Um, yeah, so I was I was stoked that they won. I thought they totally deserved it. Even though tonight's dances, 
I, I really don't know yeah. how I felt about them. But overall, throughout the season, I thought that they were killing it nonstop. And mm-hmm. they kept on getting better, too, throughout right. the season. Now, I mean, A-Flight was the great, too. And they had a lot of good dances. But to me, it was kind of rocky. Like, it'd be good. And then not as good. And kind of, like, wavy, I guess. I always thought a flavor. That that's had kind it. of a straight up sign graph. Yeah. In terms of <laughs> <laughs> that's a nerdy, nerdy reference for you guys. Um, so I thought that they kind of went in and out, whereas a flate or um, electrolytes consistently got better. So I was excited right. to see them win. Well, I was rooting for Most Wanted the whole time. <laughs> yeah. they're, they're not on the show anymore. They lost electrolytes. Um, so if it wasn't going to be Most Wanted, I wanted electrolytes to win. Still love the girls, but those were my top two faves. Actually, since the beginning, Eight Flavors and Electrolytes were my favorites. So if I had to choose between those two, so I choose, of course, who's the, the boy. Prophet? Who's the prophet now, Dave? Uh, Who is it? And I bow. Oh, snap. And I bow. <laughs> All right. Okay. You, you know, I always uh, loved Electrolytes from the beginning, and so I'm glad that they won. Yes. Know. Yeah, I'm Marissa, too. Marissa was a supporter. Mm-hmm. Yes, big and, supporter. And I kept telling them that every time I'd run into them and we'd do interviews, I'd be like, guys, I think you guys are the best. I really hope you make it. And they're yeah. like, thanks for supporting us all the way through. So yeah, great guys. Glad they noted it, that. So um, I did get the chance to talk to Electrolytes afterwards and ask them a few questions, which you guys can check out on After Buzz TV on our YouTube. Check out all the questions in the interview. But um, I asked them the one question I was really dying to know was what they were thinking during the moment while they were waiting. Yes. Um, that tense moment waiting and standing there. And yeah. they just said that what they do all season is they've been praying to God and they've been kind of, that's what they do is just Thank pray and wait. And mm. um, they, mm-hmm. they were nervous, mm-hmm. definitely, but they were just praying that it was going to be them. And that was, it pulled through for them. Yeah. yeah. I wonder what they're going to do with that $100,000 that they got. Yeah. Take me out on a date, So <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of, fr- so I got cut off. I got the signal of you got to end this before I got to ask them. That was going to be my final question was, yeah. what are you guys going to do now? What's the next with chapter? The What's the next yeah. step? Mm-hmm. So I didn't get to sadly ask that. And if you're wondering why, oh. it's because we we ran out of time. We had we to let other did. crews go. But what about Eight Flavors? Eight what if- Flavors, I actually only had about a minute to interview them. So I had to, you know, I basically just asked them, you know, what's your best experience? What did you get from, you know, being a part of America's Best Dance Crew? And they said just being on the stage was amazing for them. Mm-hmm. Interacting with the crews and how they have just become family a dance family and i mean that was amazing because i was like oh you know i was so eager to get on that stage just to stand on it for a couple of seconds and for them to get to go back every week that was their best they just their best moments were on the stage i know like we were getting goosebumps just being kind of off the stage when we were about to go on hearing the applause and everybody cheering imagine what those crews feel like every single week Mm -hmm. standing in the center with all eyes on them cheering for them the, that must be amazing when i like went up the steps and i saw like the tunnel like you know how yeah. they'll show like um right. them leaving uh-huh. or coming on the stage exiting the stage i was like oh my god i'm like in the tunnel right now <laughs> i was so excited it was I, really I was exciting struggling down that tunnel with my heels <laughs> yeah uh, dave had to help me down. i was like Man, these right. crews do not dance in heels. Uh-huh. And I was going through that tunnel with the camera, so yeah. that was fun. Uh, hopefully we'll see some you know, yeah. actual point of view. It's Marissa's yeah. got a, an ex- oh. some exclusive footage, After Buzz TV exclusive. It's funny, I was so focused. After Buzz TV exclusive. Ah. Hit it. Hit it. Boom. Um, Boom. <laughs> I was so focused on the interviews, <laughs> like doing the interviews, like making sure that Sarah got down the stairs in one piece. <laughs> she um, made it! That I, I honestly, like, I didn't think of any of that stuff. I was just like, okay, we got to go get this interview and do this and this. Yeah. But it's kind of funny because, like, we've been going backstage for the past five, six weeks, something like yeah, that. Yeah, it's been a while. And we haven't seen the stage once mm-hmm. in person. Until tonight. Because we've only been in the media room where you're kind of back right next to it. So this is the first time we actually got to see the stage. We were always cool. teased because the stage right. is right there and we can see the flags. We can feel the energy, but it's like, ah. Oh. But we can't so close, get on but it. so far away. So it kind of made me think too. There's all that confetti on there after Electrolyze won, <laughs> and they had to do the dancing on that confetti. I was like, I what it's if they slippery. just slip and Chris oh, yeah. Chris injures himself again <laughs> oh, because hey, of that? Hey, hey, that's why Ashley's Knock there. Knock on some what? Ashley's there to take care of him. That happens. <laughs> B.S. I wanted to I'm steal some of the confetti. I'm surprised that you didn't plant something so that he would slip so you can rescue him. <laughs> so, Gosh. J.J. Miller wants to know if you're single, Sarah. This oh! Is, uh, 
Uh, that might be you. <laughs> <laughs> Only for you, JJ. Oh <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's um that's really the comments that's that we're funny. getting right now. <laughs> oh man, am I turning red? Yes, you are, JJ. She's turning red right now. <laughs> for you. That's for funny. you. Oh. So it's, you just you like back to America's best dance crew. <laughs> I'm like I don't know how to respond right now. Um, Marissa, what did you get from being on on the stage? I loved every single minute of it and being with you guys and then meeting everyone from the judges to the crews, you know, like you said, it's such a positive atmosphere and everyone's just there having fun. They're dancing, they love it, and we're there and we're like just meeting them and we've been getting on a first name basis with some of the people on the crew, so it's yeah. just a great great experience right because mm-hmm. even though we are host at, at after buzz tv and and um, marissa as well she she works the camera for after buzz tv we're also just big super super fans like you are mm-hmm. we love abdc we love dancers and supporting them so we're all there just to enjoy the experience i'm um, taking back something that marissa said and you said as well uh, mentioning is just that um at, just the excitement and the energy back there despite the fact like you guys said that a flavors lost they were still really happy and really excited and i think we should probably touch on that which we started to before the commercial just that um as you were saying sarah they we talked about before they just have so much time left and this is just the start of their Mm -hmm. career it's probably it's really not a big deal that they lost because their career is blossoming right now yeah and i and did you get that vibe from them ashley that they realized that i did and they're actually going to be teaching some classes in different in various cities so (laughs) um i don't know the details on that but they did say coming to a city near you so i don't know exactly i think they're going to be traveling and doing master classes so that's awesome and i'm sure they're going to be on nickelodeon and stuff like that um they're amazing kids and they're just such an you know they give kids their age Hope that mm-hmm. hey they're gonna be able then maybe they can make it too. If Even kids my age. You know what else? Kids our age. I'm sure they'll end up being on Disney's Shake It Up with oh, Zendaya. Oh yeah, definitely. Who I got a chance to talk to. Check out the interview. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. And uh, it was amazing because actually one of the girls from We Are Heroes, I interviewed her. And I saw her on st- I actually got to see her perform mm. live today. And I was like, ooh, girl, get it. Because she was trying to teach me a couple of moves. But nice. I wasn't getting it. And I was uh, like, ooh. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> but she did amazing tonight. So that was you know, awesome. it's funny. We also saw Step Boys before coming in. A bunch of the Step Boys went and watched it, too. And so. we love yeah. Step Boys, of and course. We oh, we, and we actually had them in studio. We don't know if you saw that after show that we did but they were here mm-hmm. and we might and have the, them back next we just week might. i did run into some of them at practice last night <laughs> I, just, I went to go try a new place that i hadn't tried yet and i guess it was their first time there too and i was just like hey, what's hey! Up, guys? hey! <laughs> as well as some quest crew guys were there too dietrich was there so i was just oh, like cool. hey what's up and victor from quest crew so i was just like oh what do you know abdc is, reunion is kind of crew still together they're, I think they're yeah. traveling with LMFAO, they're still They're right? traveling with LMFAO. They're still together, but some of them are kind of branching off and doing their own I thing. See. Like awesome. Dietrich has been judging, and um, I think Victor kind of took a break to do his own thing and oh. study other um, elements. So, um, And then Steve, who I interviewed, and you can check it out, who is backstage at America's Best Dance Crew, he was doing, um, what is it? So Battle of, <laughs> battle of the Year, which is the biggest battle, breakdance battle is the biggest breakdance event of the year. He was doing a special sh- uh, movie for it, and he injured himself, so he's been oh, out for a while. No. So they're kind of, they're together but broken up, so it's kind of a mix. Yeah. So you know. <laughs> Just curious. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, wrap it up then, guys. So that has Predictions? Been- wrap it up like... Yeah, let's do Wait. some predictions. <laughs> it was the last show. I, I predict. <laughs> uh, let's, hope it, let's hope it comes back again. There was a hiatus before the season. Yeah. Right? So let's hope it comes back again. We get even better crews for next yeah. time. What are you trying to say about these? This season? No, I, mean, like, oh. I mean, we should dun, dun, dun. always want to elevate, right, guys? Yeah. <laughs> right? Like, we'll be there next season. Oh, okay. After Buzz. The After Buzz. The After Buzz crew. After Buzz crew. <laughs> this is how we do. ABTV crew <laughs> representing and, the West Side. And what's our? What's no, our, not West Side. West Side. Oh, the West Side. <laughs> <laughs> Hawaii. And, and Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> so we will represent. Okay. Representing. <laughs> we represent. All right. So it was a great season. I I enjoyed 
though every episode this was just a fantastic show fantastic mm-hmm. season i'm glad electrolyze won did you guys enjoy the season yes. definitely i enjoyed you guys i'm gonna miss i'm gonna miss us i know yes. i'll miss all of you yes but next week we have a show yes <laughs> okay that's, that's right so yeah. but join us again though next week next week we'll be back for a season recap at some point next week we haven't finalized the date but check afterbuzztv.com to check it out where we will have fanny pack and possibly other crews from the season joining us so definitely check it out if you guys want even more abdc action and you guys want more 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 so <laughs> i was going to sing but i decided not to uh, all right guys so again i am dave klein you can find me on twitter at the dave klein that is k-l-e-i-n or go to my website djk-online.com Awesome. And at Dance Queen, this is your shout out. And you can always follow me on Twitter at Tweet Nina Marie. That is T W E E T N I N A M A R I E. And I am Sarah Mendoza. You can follow me at Sarah with an H Mendoza. <laughs> JJ. <laughs> oh. Oh. JJ. What up? Uh-oh. <laughs> And as always, oh you can find us on other after shows too, which we will be doing. Go to afterbestv.com. So Check us out. What are our shows that are lined up if in case somebody wants to tune in? Um, I could be jumping on So You Think You Can Dance. Not 100%, but probably will be. Um, what about you two? I'll be doing the Newsroom HBO show on the 20, starting the 24th of this month. And you can check me out every Sunday recapping Empire Girls at 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock. Check it out on AfterBuzzTV.com. Just look, just look online. <laughs> and Marissa. Just look online. <laughs> and Marissa, how can we find you? I am Marissa Movies on Twitter. That's M-A-R-I-S-A. Movies on Twitter. I had such a great season with you guys. It's been so much fun. Oh. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining us this season. Check out the recap and check out our interviews. They will be going up shortly. From Bye, Bing.com, guys. executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, Buzz you later! Buzz, 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 Buzz. The views expressed herein are those of the host only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principal.